from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, August the 4th, 2023. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu responded yesterday to remarks made by two members of the coalition against the senior IDF commander in Judea and Samaria, the West Bank, Major General Yehuda Fox. Earlier this week, Likud Knesset member Avichai Boaron said during a radio interview on Tuesday that for Fox, allowing movement rights for Palestinians is more important than hermetically protecting Israelis. Defense Minister Yoav Gallant then said in response that General Fox dedicates his life to the defense of the people of Israel and that he vehemently defends the baseless attacks on him by irresponsible political parties, saying any attack on IDF officers by public figures undermines Israel's security. And then on Wednesday, Otsma Yehudit, Knesset member Limor Sonar Melech, when asked about his remarks, said she unequivocally backs Boaron's comments, claiming that Fox consistently ensures the welfare of Palestinian residents of Judea and Samaria and is against Jewish residents. Netanyahu responded to the remarks against Fox yesterday, saying the denigration of Major General Fox is unacceptable and unworthy. Fox is an excellent and admired officer who works tirelessly to defend all the citizens of Israel. The Times of Israel reports that Israeli Cabinet Secretary Yossi Fuchs said that Netanyahu's coalition is looking to pass legislation remaking Israel's Judicial Selection Committee this fall, but will not pursue its remaining judicial overhaul reforms. This was reportedly the same message that the prime minister conveyed to U.S. President Joe Biden last month. Retired Jewish Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer is in Israel. He met yesterday with Israel's President Isaac Herzog and U.S. Charge d'Affaires Stephanie Hallett. The meeting took place at the Tachlit Institute, a research institute that works to strengthen Israeli democracy and its institutions. Senior fellow Elad Gil tweeted such an honor for the Tachlit Institute and myself to host retired Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer in Israel, a giant jurist and a true mensch. He said Breyer and the president discussed the strength of our democracy and the need to build consensus and take measured steps on constitutional matters, referring there to the judicial reforms. Back in April of this year, Breyer urged the Israeli government to act with the greatest caution regarding the reform process, cited by the foreword saying, beware of changes that are too fast, beware of changing too quickly, beware of giving up what you have before you get used to something new. And Hallett last night met with women leaders from Israel and Morocco at a gala in Israel for the Fem Forward MENA program, promoting gender equality in the high-tech industry, formed in partnership with the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem and the UAE Israel Business Council for women from Israel, Morocco, the UAE, and Bahrain. The program, hosted by Jerusalem Deputy Mayor Flur Hassan Nahum, who today welcomed the Moroccan Charge d'Affaires, who arrived to meet with the program's participants at the Paris Center for Peace and Innovation in Tel Aviv. Well, Israel is gearing up for the European Athletics Under-20 Championships, hosting the biennial track and field competition for the first time. It will take place at the Givat Ram Stadium in Jerusalem, where Israel hosted the 2022 European Athletics Under-18 Championships last year. The U-20 kicks off this Monday, August the 7th, and runs through Thursday the 10th. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Friday, August the 4th. Live Shabbat services are coming up at 6 o'clock from New York City's Central Synagogue, followed by Shabbat services from the Hampton Synagogue. At 8.30, it's Kobe Peretz on Musica. At 9, the film A Jewish Spirit Sings. At 10, a Shabbat a cappella concert. And then a replay from the Hampton Synagogue, followed by a replay from Central. And coming up next, a look at this week's Torah portion. And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, August the 4th, 2023. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well, and Shabbat Shalom.